Want to see something cool? Cool. Channeling my inner Chris Bowden on you. You are looking uh, at the close-up of Rugged Stranded Element Antenna Wire from VFcons.com, the Farage Antenna People. Carbon fiber impregnated with nickel on the, uh, on the outside, and you can see that nice shiny stuff there. And it is jacketed in polyester to encase all of the, uh, the fibers and uh, keep them convenient. Now, being nickel coated, uh, well, so first off, being carbon fiber, you can see me peeling away some extras here. That's um, it's kind of fibrous to work with, but uh, being nickel coated, it'll take solder. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, terminate it with a couple of, um, if they'd stay on the screen, uh, two millimeter banana connectors, you know, male and a female here. So I've got one that I've already flooded with solder, but I'm gonna to top it up just to make sure um, that it's nicely, neatly flooded. And there we go. And I've got this uh, stripped back just a little bit. Um, and so now the fun is taking however many strands of this stuff there is and getting it to fit in the hole of that connector. Now I'm, I'm really heating the connector up as if turning it into like a little pot of solder. Now I'm holding the, uh, I'm holding the, the wire in place so that it cools down properly. And then I should be able to just pick this up if I've done it right. Yeah. And you can see that uh, that connection is on there solid. So let me uh, pull that back. I'll get my soldering helper out of the way. My third hand holder, I think they call that. Um, I need to clean that up at all. That doesn't look too bad. I'm gonna cover it up with um, some heat shrink. I'm just gonna trim away the extra little hairs there before I do and get a piece of heat shrink over top of that. I'm not using anything special. This is a 1 8, um, 1 8 inch heat shrink. And so shoot me later, I use an open flame uh, to do my heat shrinking. I do have a gun, but it's noisy for video purposes. So I'm just gonna delicately hit that with the tip of the heat, just enough to shrink it down. And uh, there we go. That's neatly conformed uh, to that connector. And yeah, it's still a little bit warm as you would expect. So once it cools down, I'll be able to handle that. But now I've got a connector on here that uh, is nice and neat and tidy and I can do something with this wire. So this wire has uh, some resistance to it. Um, the measured resistance that I've noticed is about 145 ohms per 100 feet. So that's a lot, right? Um, and this is uh, not a video to speculate on what you can use this for. It's a video to show you how you can solder with it. So as you can see here in the overhead shot, uh, this is what it looks like when it's all splayed out. I have no idea how many strands there are there. There's a lot. And they're really, really fine. I think finer than a human hair, small. So you'll want to clean up and um, vacuum your workspace after you've been done working with this stuff. So you don't have any carbon fibers floating around on your workshop environment. Anyway, that's all I meant for this video to be a fast way to solder uh, this stuff up. Um, hope you've enjoyed 73.